Now, I think it's fair to say I have been a, uh, a bit of a critic of the Reform Party, and especially of Richard Tice. And if you've watched my videos recently on this party, then you will know my uh, opinion on them was uh, changed thanks to a recent phone call. And I was provided with uh, more context and insider information. So I will be voting reform in the end after all that. But I'm still highly suspicious of Richard Tice, and I'll get to that later. Now, the Reform Party, if ever there was an opportunity, it's now. And it's an opportunity for Nigel Farage. And he could quite literally wipe out the Conservative Party within days if he took over the leadership of reform. Now, my personal favourite for the leadership is Lee Anderson for obvious reasons. I sincerely believe that guy does want his country back. But there are some red flags still, especially with Richard Tice and Nigel Farage even. Now, I know Nigel Farage can't take over the leadership of reform because, unfortunately, it turns out Richard Tice is bankrolling the party. It's his. I've told you guys before, the guy is too much of a screw-up because he's trying to please everyone. He has done things and said things which really doesn't resonate with his core voters. And as for Nigel Farage, he ditched UKIP, blamed other people for that, ditched the Brexit party, and he just doesn't seem to want to see anything through to the end. Remember, uh, during the Brexit votes back in 2016, he quite literally caved in and uh, gave up for the reform vote uh, before the vote was counted. Now, I have been told personally, uh, insider information, that Nigel Farage will be going to the US to help Donald Trump win the US presidency, or campaign for him at least. But reform are riding so high in the polls now, and we're talking second place here in some of them behind Labour, and the country are so disillusioned with the Tories that only his return as a reform leader could help cement that and destroy the Tories. So why doesn't he do it? Surely if they both saw this and they're aware of Nigel Farage's uh, popularity, then Richard Tice would do the right thing and step aside and Nigel Farage would gladly take the reins. That's all it would take, I think. So what's Nigel Farage waiting for? Now's the time and it's the only right thing to do, I believe. And there we go. That's what I think. I'm Paz49. Thanks for listening. And until the next time, Roger Trout.